I think there will be many vulnerable groups. Uh, I work in geriatrics, so the people I work with are what we call frail elderly, people who are very old and who are suffering from decline in, in their, their memory or decline in their ability to look after themselves, many multiple medical problems. Uh, and they're very dependent on those around them for, the, for their care, for moral support. And, uh, and so they could be easily influenced if, um, if somebody around them thinks that it's too, mu too much now to be able to look after them, if they're too much of a burden, or if somebody wants to inherit more quickly. Uh, I see a lot of elder abuse also, people who are coerced into changing their will uh, towards the end of their life. Uh, I can see that leading into the ultimate elder abuse, which would be to to, get, to have the will changed and then to convince the patient to, uh, to request euthanasia or assisted suicide. But there are many older, any other vulnerable groups. Everybody at the end of life is vulnerable. Uh, whether you, it's a new illness, you've never been sick before, you're facing a whole different way of uh, approaching your life because you can't do all the things you could do before. Uh, you're facing the medical um, system that you're not familiar with. You're having to make decisions that you never had to face before. Um, uh, you don't understand, uh, you feel like you're a burden on people, I'll be, you were productive all your life and now you can't, uh, you can't be productive anymore. I can imagine handicapped people, there's a group of handicapped people called Not Dead Yet who, uh, who raise the issue that, you know, many people say if I could, for example, no, no longer go to the bathroom by myself, I would rather be dead. And they say, well, you know, some of us have been like that all our life and we think that our life has just as much value as everybody else's. And so that's, so that they find that very threatening because their lives are considered to be of less value. I can see people with chronic illnesses. Um, the, uh, the criteria that are proposed by the Maynard Committee include any terminal illness, but it doesn't say for what duration. People can be chronically ill for four, five, six, ten years before they die. Uh, they would be eligible for euthanasia. Uh, it can be very hard sometimes. Uh, they, they can get depressed. They can get uh, fed up with, with their medical situation. I can see people with a new catastrophic diagnosis new diagnosis of Alzheimer's disease, new of a neurodegenerative disease, uh, that's, uh, that they're, they're frightened, uh, it's, it's, they're, they're, they're in a panic, uh, uh, and eventually, uh, as time goes on, the, most of these people, they, they come to terms with their disease, they learn to live with it, they learn to adapt to it, but in the early stages, many of them would, would, would rather die, and if you accept it, then it's too late, you can't do anything else. Uh, but everybody, everybody who's sick is, is vulnerable.